Serious, what are some of the best books you've ever read? By sheer enjoyment factor, read Wall back when I was in middle school. Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut, read it in one afternoon waiting for my then girlfriend to get off work at a hotel, read it in the parking lot on a beautiful day and day dreamt about the futility of our existence and the dark humor behind it. East of Eden, it is one of those books that I just enjoyed all the way through. You may also like journal of a novel, while writing East of Eden, John Steinbeck would start each day with a letter to his editor detailing the book's progress. Journal of a novel is the collection of those letters. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I'll never forget reading this book, even if you've seen the film adaptation, which is wonderful, the book is incredible. It's written from the first person pov of one of the patients admitted to the psych ward. The entirety of the book you have to define what is real, and what is not real, you constantly question the validity of the narrator, and what he's seeing. The interesting thing about the whole perspective, is the book is really about another character, but you get to see, learn and interact with that character, and the rest of them through the eyes of the narrator, a mute, psych patient. There's an incredible amount of detail, because the narrator is a mute, he can focus on his observation and inner thoughts. A great read, I would highly recommend it. The Phantom Tollbooth Surprised I haven't seen it here yet, but The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Dumas. Bit of a journey with how long it is but totally worth it. If you want to read it in English, get the Robin Bus translation, unabridged. The full unabridged was totally worth it. It did indeed go slow at some parts but I felt like every part pertained to later plot elements in the story. Overall, it was an exciting read. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. I gave up the first time I tried to read it, after starting a game and finishing it I seriously loved it. Best war book out there, also works by Kurt Vonnegut, Slaughterhouse 5, Cat's Cradle, Breakfast of Champions. Thoroughly enjoyed all of them, have Mother Night waiting to be read. Catch 22 can take some titanic effort to fathom at first, but anyone who can work through it will find it simply great. Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy hands down is my favorite. Incredibly dark, but the prose and imagery blow me away every time. And that ending. Man, that ending. Blood Meridian and the Road are often recommended on Reddit, and rightly so, but I cannot speak highly enough of Satree. It's long, not quite as grisly as Blood Meridian, and actually quite funny. One of the most profoundly compelling books I have ever had the pleasure of reading. Flowers for Algernon. Breaks my heart a bit every time I read it. Seriously, it's so good and so sad every time. You think I've read this 8 times already. I'll just enjoy it again and be fine and the next thing you know you're crying on a commuter train at 7.30am. My all time favorites are The Wind Up Bird Chronicle and Kafka on the Shore. Both by Haruki Murakami. They're both just really surrealistic and mysterious. I love Murakami, he offers a great escape when you're down, to a simple world where you can just relax and listen to great music, read fantastic books, have uncomplicated sex, eat good food and search for lost cats and a sheepman once in a while. My favorite has to be Hard Boiled Wonderland. Had the same feel as The Castle by Kafka. The Disquarled series by Terry Pratchett. Comedy genius. Also Jim Butcher's The Dresden Files. Wonderful modern fantasy that reads just like a comic book. If you can't force yourself to get through all like, 30 books, admittedly, some of them just aren't as good, the first two especially, then reading just the city watch books is fine. There's also a recommended reading order, that Terry Pratchett endorses. All quiet on the western front, oh boy I cried my guts out. In the vein of war books, the things they carried and Johnny got his gun are pretty great too. Animal Farm by George Orwell, greatest metaphorical book of a dystopian society of all time. Plus it is an extremely accurate retelling of the Russian Revolution with farm animals used as the characters instead of humans. If you haven't read it yet, then you should. Siddhartha by Herman Hesse, taught me a lot about religion, self-discovery, and philosophy. Also taught me about prostitutes. I love everything by Hesse, he has such a beautiful way of writing and even the darkest moments his characters go through are somehow lovely. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Hiroki Murakami is perfect. 
Norwegian would wreck me for a few weeks the first time I read it. I should read it again. The Stranger Albert Camus. Brave New World. Great book. It is such a good book to compare with 1984 as well. I definitely preferred Brave New World, but 1984 was good too. I personally love Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dong, it really helped me to think about the future. If we have androids that act like humans, are they still androids? It also was very fun to see how things develop through the book. Overall, a great read. 100 Years of Solitude by Colombian author Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Great read. I really enjoyed Lamb by Christopher Moore. A light-hearted, sacrilegious take on what happened during Jesus' formative years, as told through the lens of his best friend. Lots of laughs as well as some really touching moments and some nice philosophical musings. Really great read for anyone that doesn't take religion too seriously. All of his books are great. Fluke is my favorite. Slaughterhouse 5 by Kurt Vonnegut. Magical realism type fiction. Everything is illuminated. Jonathan Safran Foller. 100 Years of Solitude. Marquez. The History of Love. Nicole Krauss. All the Light We Cannot See. Anthony Doe. A Naked Singularity. Sergio de la Pava. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. Foller. Poisonwood Bible. Barbara Kingsolver. The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wayo. Junot Diaz. Sci-Fi. Time Enough for Love. Heinlein. Stranger in a Strange Land, Heinlein, Ender Series, Orson Scott Card, Foundation Trilogy, Isaac Asimov, Dune, obviously, I'll also read anything by Michael Crichton, Chuck Palahniuk, Dan Brown, or John Grisham as very enjoyable quickies, they're a bit more plot centric than some of the other stuff that I enjoy, that I think of as more artistic, but still awesome, also, Catch 22. Ender's Game was one of the first books I really got into, but I think I like the sequel, Speaker for the Dead, even more. It's a great story about the strained relationships that arise between different cultures, and there's even a bit of a mystery element as well. The other sequels kinda flew off the rails in my opinion, but Speaker was a fantastic follow-up that I'd recommend to fans of the original. I finally got around to reading Ender's Game but switched over to Ender's Shadow after that. Not sure which way I should go now, to follow Bean or Ender. Bill Garriard series by David Eddings if you like fantasy. World War Z was really good. David Mitchell, Cloud Atlas, William Gibson, Neuromancer, Joseph Heller, Catch-22, Vladimir Nabokov, Lolita, Tom Clancy, Red Storm Rising, James Michener, Tales of the South Pacific, Niccolo Machiavelli, The Prince, Neil Stevenson, Snow Crash, Cormac McCarthy, The Road. Cloud Atlas is great. I love all of David Mitchell's books, but I think Bone Clocks was my favorite. It still had a surprising ending, even though I'm used to his shtick. Here are some of my favorite, in no particular order. Ender's Game Orson Scott Card, The Giver Lois Lowry, Lord of the Flies William Golding, The Hobbit J.R.R. Tolkien, The Lord of the Rings J.R.R. Tolkien, The Stand Stephen King, The Dark Tower series Stephen King, To Kill a Mockingbird Harper Lee, The Outsiders S.E. Hinton. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doe. The writing in this book is some of the most beautiful writing I've ever read. Doe translates in one sentence what would take most authors pages to convey. The writing almost has a musical quality to it, it's magic. It is a large book at 500 plus pages but there is not one slow spot. I finished the entire thing in two days. As a teen I really enjoyed the Mortal Engines Tetralogy by Philip Reeve. It's a sci-fi future series where cities are all on wheels and eat each other. H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. My personal top. On Heroes and Tombs. Ernesto Sabato. The Clown. Heinrich Boll. Slaughterhouse 5. Kurt Vonnegut. The Master and Margarita. Mikhail Bulgakov. The Magus. John Fowles. Conversation in the Cathedral. Mario Vargas Llosa, The Tin Drum, Gun to Grass, Blindness, Jose Saramago, ASOIAF, George R. R. Martin. For all you your fans out there, I am The Messenger, by Marcus Zusak. He also did The Book Thief, which is also amazing. 
seriously engaging characters, and the ending still kinda blows my mind. The theme with playing cards is great, too. Top 10 books. 1. Slaughterhouse 5. Kurt Vonnegut. 2. Johnny Got His Gun. Dalton Trumbo. 3. Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Robert Persig. 4. Little Women. Louisa May Alcott. 5. The Unbearable Lightness of Being. Milan Kundera. 6. Lord of the Flies. William Golding. 7. War. Sebastian Junger. 8. Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Chronicles of Narnia. C.S. Lewis. 9. The Awakening. Kate Chopin. 10. For Whom the Bell Tolls. Ernest Hemingway. The Stand and IT by Stephen King. Swan Song by Robert McKinnon. Still Life with Woodpecker by Tom Robbins. Big fan of Tom Robbins in general, but this is my favorite. To me, he has impeccable diction, metaphors and similes. My favorite Tom Robbins is Jitterbug Perfume, followed by Half Asleep in Frog Pajamas. He is an absolute master of metaphor and simile, not to mention bizarre imagery. Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. The Once and Future King. Pillars of the Earth was one of the best books about building a cathedral in the Middle Age, and the Weringham saga of Rebecca Gable about the Lancaster. I really like reading historians' romance, and of course the Black Tower saga from Stephen King. Flowers for Algernon, a short science fiction novel about experiments to make a mentally challenged human. Charlie Gordon, highly intelligent, the Prince of Tides, a story about Tom Wingo and his family, and some traumatic events in his childhood that leads to tragedy. He travels to New York to retell the story of himself, his sister Savannah, and his brother Luke to Savannah's doctor, Susan Lowenstein in order to save his deeply troubled sister. Flowers for Algernon is heartbreaking. Brothers Karamazov, especially the whole scene where they discuss the human nature in the bar, it's overwhelmingly mind-blowing. 100 Years of Solitude Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Youth in Revolt C.D. Payne, Blue Highways William Least Heat Moon, Mist to Life by Joseph Campbell, Outlaws of the Water Margin Nishian, The Practice of Everyday Life Michel Deserto, Invisible Cities Italo Corvino, Selected Poems Federico Garcia Lorca, the Grapes of Wrath, Steinbeck, Sharp Objects, Gillian Flynn, The Stand, Stephen King, Ghost Story, Peter Straub, Shogun, Clavel, Hawaii James Michener. Don Quixote, Now Hear Me Out, Find a Good Translation and the Characters Jump to Life. Currently reading Wise's Man Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, which is a second book, first being Name of the Wind. Gorge R. R. Martin even said that it's a great book and many others say it's the next Game of Thrones, just with no fricking and gory deaths. You should probably keep reading before saying there's no fricking or gory deaths. The Outsiders. I read that for my 8th grade English class. I don't think I've ever seen a group of craferated middle school boys as engrossed in something as we were with that book. Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. Don Gately is my favorite character ever. Oh no, I tease the very scary pancake man, comment him not scared to make him go away. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.